This is the Music History Today podcast for September 13th. On today's show, Tupac passes away, Biggie debuts, Kanye is Kanye, and the event that sparked the national anthem takes place. First up, though, on this date in 1814, the Battle of Fort McHenry took place. It would inspire a witness to the attack, Francis Scott Key, to write the song The Star-Spangled Banner, which would become the national anthem for America. In 1947, T-Bone Walker recorded the classic song, Call It Stormy Monday, But Tuesday is Just as Bad. In 1969, a rock concert tradition started when, during a rock festival in Toronto, Canada, John Lennon's Plastic Ono Band played their first live concert. But before they performed, the host of the festival, Kim Fowley, told the audience to hold their cigarette lighters up. According to music historians, that was the first time that the soon-to-be concert trend started. No word as to whether anybody screamed out, Play Free Bird! Also, that of course has now been supplanted by holding up your cell phone and killing your battery during a concert. Anyway, in 1974, Quincy Jones divorced actress Ula Anderson. In 1979, ABBA started their only tour of America. In 1980, the music television show Solid Gold debuted. It was famous for those solid gold dancers, who usually dressed in gold spandex outfits. God bless the 80s. In 1993, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band drummer Max Weinberg became the band leader of the house band for the Late Night with Conan O'Brien television show. In 1998, Melanie Brown from The Spice Girl married her husband, Jimmy Gulzar. In 2000, the movie Almost Famous, Cameron Crowe's movie about a teen journalist who went on tour with a rock band in order to write a story, premiered in movie theaters. The movie made Elton John's classic song, Tiny Dancer, popular again. In 2003, Mike Smith of the Dave Clark Five fell off of a ladder while trying to break into his own home after locking himself out of it. The fall left him a quadriplegic. In 2014, musician William Tell married fashion designer Lauren Conrad. Also on that same day, the annual Farm Aid concert took place. In 2018, Justin Bieber married actress Haley Baldwin. In 2019, Jennifer Lopez's movie Hustlers, co-starring Cardi B, Lizzo, and Usher premiered in movie theaters. And in 2021, Nicki Minaj tweeted out misinformation about the COVID vaccines, citing her cousin in Trinidad, who supposedly got oversized testicles, from getting vaccinated. The health minister of Trinidad then put out a public statement saying that the vaccines were safe and that they don't give you oversized testicles. Nikki's cousin probably also got really angry with her for telling the world that. Moving very quickly off of that before I say something else. In award ceremonies that were held on September 13th, in 1965, the Beatles won their first Grammy Award. It was for Best Group. In 1985, Bruce Springsteen was the big winner at the MTV Video Music Awards. And in 2009, Beyonce and Taylor Swift were the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. Janet Jackson opened the show with a tribute to her brother Michael, who passed away only a few weeks earlier. The ceremony was, though, overshadowed by Kanye being Kanye when he interrupted Taylor's acceptance speech for winning Best Female Video. Katy Perry also met eventual husband Russell Brand for the first time at the awards as well. Albums that were released on September 13th include in 1965 when Manfred Mann released My Little Red Book of Winners. In 1967, Bobby Darren released If I Were a Carpenter. In 1972, Yes released Close to the Edge. In 1974, Jackson Brown released Late for the Sky, Supertramp released Crime of the Century, LaBelle released Nightbirds, Ronnie Wood released I've Got My Own Album to Do, and Fleetwood Mac released Heroes Are Hard to Find. In 1976, Rose Royce released the soundtrack to the movie Car Wash. Also in 1976, Bob Dylan released Hard Rain, and Leonard Skinner released One More from the Road. 
1977, Elton John released Elton John's Greatest Hits, Volume 2. In 1982, Kate Bush released The Dreaming, and Simple Minds released New Gold Dream, 81, 82, 83, 84. In 1984, Dokken released Tooth and Nail, and Kiss released Animal Eyes. In 1985, Stevie Wonder released In Square Circle. In 1988, Fishbone released Truth and Soul. And Tanika Tikram released Ancient Heart. Jeff Healy Band released See the Light. And The Smiths released Rank. In 1989, Tina Turner released Foreign Affair. In 1992, The Shaman released Boss Drum. In 1993, The Cure released Show. In 1994, the Notorious B.I.G. released his debut album, Ready to Die. We discuss this and an awful lot about September 13th, among other things, on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which is already dropped on this channel. Please like, subscribe, and do all that funky algorithm stuff. Also in 1994, Blues Traveler released 4, Eric Clapton released From the Cradle, Peter Gabriel released Secret World Live, and Curtis Mayfield released his live album. In 1999, the Yellow Submarine song track from the Beatles was released. In 2005, Tracy Chapman released Where You Live, The Spin Doctors released Nice Talking to Me, and Bonnie Raitt released Souls Alike. In 2010, Phil Collins released Going Back. In 2011, Bush released The Sea of Memories. Alice Cooper released Welcome to My Nightmare. Nick Lowe released The Old Magic. Aerosmith released The Essential Aerosmith. Wynton Marsalis and Eric Clapton released Wynton and Eric Play the Blues Live from Jazz at Lincoln Center. And Anthrax released Worship Music. Singles that were released in the UK on September 13th include in 1993 when Peter Gabriel released Kiss That Frog. Meanwhile in America, in 1965, Simon and Garfunkel released The Sounds of Silence and The Beatles did a twofer. They released Act Naturally and Yesterday. In 1966, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Spin Out and All That I Am. In 1981, Jay Giles Band released Centerfold. In 1983, David Bowie released Modern Love. In 1997, Elton John released his tribute song to Princess Diana, Candle in the Wind, 1997. It became the biggest selling single of all time worldwide. Elton also released his new song, Something About the Way You Look Tonight, at the same time. In 2004, Eric Prids released his classic, Call On Me. In 2011, Joe Jonas released Just In Love. And in 2013, Hozier released Take Me To Church. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 13th include singer Fiona Apple, singer Nail Horan from One Direction fame, producer Swizz Beats, singer Snow Allegra, rapper Playboy Cardi, rapper Keith Murray, Singer Young Jun of TXT, Steve Perkins of Jane's Addiction, Dave Mustaine of Megadeth and also Metallica, Joni Sledge of Sister Sledge, singer Destiny Rogers, classical composer Arnold Schoenberg, Den Hagerty of The Darts, Don Waz of Waz, not Was, Peter Cetera of Chicago, Ray Elliott of Them, Drummer Zach Starkey, Ripper Owens of Judas Priest, David Clayton Thomas of Blood, Sweat, and Tears, jazz great Mr. Mel Torme, blues singer Charles Brown, bluegrass great Bill Monroe, Louis Steinberg of Booker T and the MGs, producer Gene Page, guitarist Leslie Harvey, Craig McGregor of Fog Hat, Steve Kilby of The Church, Vinnie Apice of Black Sabbath and also the group Dio, 
Joe Don Rooney of Rascal Flats, Dave Quincy of Manfred Mann's Earth Band, singer Elaine Delmar, and drummer Alex Rael of The Savage Rose, multi-instrumentalist Douglas Ewart, singer Randy Jones, who was the cowboy in The Village People, jazz guitarist Joe Morris, country music singer Bobby Kreiner, Christian pop music singer Aaron Benward, rapper Shorty of the group The Lynch Mob, opera singer Arlene Auger, pianist Bent Hallberg, composer Maurice Jarre, singer Dick Hames, pianist Leonard Feather, violinist and band leader Bernard Ett, violinist and band leader David Rubinoff, and country music singer-songwriter Kelly Harrell. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 13th include composer Friedrich Keil, who passed away in 1885 at the age of 64. Pianist Emmanuel Charbrer passed away in 1894 at the age of 53. Violinist and also conductor of the Alhambra Theatre in London, England from 1872 to 1898, George Jacoby passed away in 1906 at the age of 66. Composer Alfred R. Gall passed away in 1913 at the age of 76. Composer Julius Rontgen passed away in 1932 at the age of 77. The conductor of the Philadelphia Orchestra and was also the conductor who was seen in the Disney movie Fantasia. Mr. Leopold Stokowski passed away in 1977 at the age of 95. Composer Dane Rudger passed away in 1985 at the age of 90. Trumpet player and singer Ferry Rock Barenzi of the group The Ramblers passed away in 1991 at the age of 80. Drummer John Stevens passed away in 1994 at the age of 54. Silas Crane of the Soul Stirrers Gospel Quartet passed away in 1996 at the age of 85. Rapper Tupac Shakur passed away from injuries that he sustained in a drive-by shooting in 1996 at the age of 25. DJ Meddy passed away in 2011 at the age of 34. Composer William Duckworth passed away from cancer in 2012 at the age of 69. Gary Rickrath of Ario Speedwagon passed away in 2015 at the age of 65. Grant Hart of Husker Du passed away in 2017 at the age of 56. Singer Eddie Money passed away from cancer in 2019 at the age of 70. And the promoter of the Newport Jazz and Folk Festivals, along with the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival, Mr. George Ween passed away in 2021 at the age of 95. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 14th, when in 1984, the first MTV Video Music Awards took place and put Madonna on the map. <laughs> 